No one likes surprises, particularly when there are large sums of money involved. Imagine getting to the closing table of your real estate transaction and out of nowhere discover there's thousands of dollars in fees you weren't anticipating. Commissions were higher than expected and the state taxes weren't what you were expecting either. It could be a true mess for everyone involved. That's exactly why there's a document called the Closing Disclosure and today we're going to talk about the details of what it entails and when you may expect to see it. This is the Terms, Tips and Tricks for Real Estate, Episode 119 on Closing Disclosures. At the end of a transaction, just a few days before closing, both sides of the deal should get a document called the Closing Disclosure. This is sometimes referred to as the CD. The disclosure ensures that the money is accounted for properly. Every penny that exchanges hands is supposed to be clearly documented and applied to the proper side. This should show who is getting paid and by whom. It will also show that any outstanding work done by contractors during the due diligence request have been paid for and all fees are documented. On a side note, if the deal is an all cash deal and no bank is involved, you will find a similar item called the HUD which will be used to provide similar details. Whichever is used, there may be items you don't fully understand. Be sure to forward that, to your, uh, that disclosure to your agent and have them explain to you exactly what each line item is. It's important that you know where your money is going and coming from. Use their knowledge and expertise all the way to the closing table. Until next time, I'm Chris Whitehurst. Welcome home.